there, Paul Tranny here, and I want to show you how you can remove somebody, say, from the background, or in this case, uh, do some layering, some compositing like this, okay? So it's all about selecting the object and putting them on a new layer, as you can see right over here. I'm going to show you how to do this. Starting right over here, you can see all my fancy text layers. I'll turn those off, and I just want to sort of pull her out of the background. So with that layer selected, I want to then start selecting this lady. So I could use something like the lasso tool and try to select part of her, or I could use the magic wand right over here as well. Uh, but I'd probably want to start with the quick selection tool. So with the quick selection tool, I can just drag over parts of her and select her that way. But I'm going to do you one better. This is in Photoshop CC 2019 right up here. What do I want to do? Select the subject right up here or it's also if I go to select right in here subject it will through Adobe Sensei detect the subject and select the subject in this case it gets me about 80% there I noticed there's some some areas right in here that I could probably clean up so with the quick selection tool uh, I'll hold down the alt key or option key and just drag over and remove and without holding the option key I can select more. So I can continue to refine this maybe a little bit more here, but I'm going to do you one better. I want to go right up here to select and mask. This is where the magic happens. Going to select and mask, we can see this new interface. Notice the color over here. I have it changed to red because really I need to select this black. It's kind of hard to see on black. So I change that to red. And then I can go through and start selecting these areas. I can use these number of tools over here, but really refine edge. It's that second one there. And what do I want to do? Maybe increase the brush size a little bit. We can do that right up at the top here. And then I'll just start rolling over. I'm not even holding down an alt key or anything like that. It's determining uh, where the hair is and where the hair isn't. It knows that background color. It knows the color of the hair. So that's all I'm doing right now. I'll start to roll over some of that. We'll get this other side right here. Just do it along the edge. This is typically what I do. You could try maybe this part right here. Let's see if we can kind of continue some of our hair down like that and like that, right? Finding that hair, I don't have to worry about it. Photoshop does all that magic, right? Uh, I could do some more with these various sliders over here, either choke it or uh, shift that edge, but I'd say it looks pretty good for my purposes. So all I need to do right down here, this is my favorite part, output to a new layer with a layer mask. Perfect. Clicking OK, boom, new layer with layer mask. As you can see right over here, done and done. Now keep in mind, I can always paint with black. I could start to do my own cleanup and get more exact if I want to, but that's how I've made this layer mask right here. Okay, perfect. Let's turn on that background. That looks good. Let's turn on these other layers. Let's move her to the top like that, as you can see. And now she fits just fine in there. And there's more I can do with this as well. But that's the short of it. How to mask out basically hair and get what you want. You could really do this with anything as I'm doing right now. Select subject, select and mask, refine edge, and output to a new layer with a layer mask. Done and done. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.